You're sexy. Is that unprofessional of me? I don't know. I'm sorry, but like, I'm just like, damn. Body camera video shows a former police officer's inappropriate conversation with a woman he met while on patrol. All this before she says he raped her. What's your name? My name? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm Eric. Nice the incident happened on April 17th of last year. Tulsa, Oklahoma police officer D'Angelo Rise was on patrol when he met a woman walking her dog. Oh, okay. I mean, I heard some noise that that direction, but I didn't Okay. See oh, do you live around here? Uh, yeah, I stay at the motel. Oh, which one? The studio. Oh, okay. After that, Rise is caught on body camera video, taking the conversation in an inappropriate direction after giving her a false name. What's your name? My name? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm Eric. Nice you. You're sexy. Is that unprofessional of me? I don't know. I'm sorry, but like, I mean, I'm just like, damn. Rise can be heard asking the woman where he could find her later that night. You just chilling the night? I mean, probably. Okay. If I'm wandering around, where should I wander? Probably somewhere around the Studio Star. At the Studio Star. Okay. As the conversation continues, Rise asks the woman if she has a room at the motel. Most people call me Red. Red? You got like a, you got a room? Yeah. Okay. It's me and my dog, Felony. Oh, really? Okay. That's where the body camera video switches off. Investigators say the victim gave Rise her phone number and he called her later that night. She says he asked whether she was a prostitute before running her information through the Tulsa, Oklahoma Police Department system. Noticing she had a long criminal record, officials say Rise told her, quote, it wouldn't take much to put a person with her record back in prison. She told investigators she was afraid Rise would plant evidence and later arrest her. She then says Rise allegedly raped her using a condom. After that, she says he flushed the condom down the toilet. You're sexy. Is that unprofessional of me? I don't know. I'm sorry, but like, I mean, I'm just like, damn. When approached by the special victims unit, Rise said he believed the victim to be a homicide suspect. At first, he denied having sex with her, but later admitted they had sex, saying he believed it was consensual. On June 9th of last year, Rise resigned after five years with the Tulsa Police Department. He was arrested the following day and charged with first-degree rape. Rise pleaded not guilty to those charges in June of 2022. According to a statement released by his attorney, he admits his conduct was inappropriate but maintains his innocence. He's due back in court next month. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie. In this day and age, qualified immunity remains one of the deadliest threats to U.S. citizens. There is no doubt, and as witnessed daily, that as long as police officers in our uncivilized nation are encouraged to murder without consequences, we can expect no improvements to our life expectancy. According to the United States National Academy of Sciences, and I quote, police in the United States kill far more people than do police in other advanced industrial democracies. To date, Colorado, New Mexico, and New York have repealed qualified immunity, and we remain hopeful that in the near future, serial killers with badges will be held accountable for the unreasonable execution of citizens. Furthermore, the Academy of Sciences additionally says, journalists have stepped into this void and initiated a series of systematic efforts to track police-involved killings. And I bid to you, my fellow citizens, that this rampage of certified murders must be stopped for the safety of our children, handicapped, and veterans. Please support the new Institute for Justice and their Americans Against Qualified Immunity campaign. Check them out at www.aaqi.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and Twitter. That's Americans Against Qualified Immunity. That's all for now, my brothers and sisters. Stay safe and always film the police.